Welcome to January 2024 at Builders with God Ministry. This month is dedicated to prayer and preparation and our theme is gaining strength for the long stretch. Come alongside our community of kingdom laborers as we press into the Holy Spirit on this journey of building capacity for all that is to come. Good day, people of God. I am Yomi Omolayo from Builders with God Ministry. Yesterday, we started the January prayer month and I share with us yesterday the introduction to this year's uh, prayer month. And we discuss uh, extensively on First King 19, 7 to 8, where I was able to paint the picture of how the angel of the Lord came to Elijah the second time and instructed him the need for him to hit more because of the long journey that is ahead of him, the long stretch of journey that is ahead of him. And that journey is intended for him to get to the Mount of God. And it's picturing to uh, in these days, the plans of God for us in this kind of time. And it made us to understand Jesus was made perfect through the things he suffered. And all that is playing out now is for God to raise the people that will be exactly like Jesus. And they will have to go through process. And that process is becoming more effective in times like this, in times of intense trial upon the whole world. And he said it in his word. He said, look, look up a little of your head for your redemption drawn here. When you begin to see men's heart failing them, Jesus made it very clearly that such times when things become calamitous, that is the time for God's elect to look up, for that is the only source where life proceeds. And in this kind of time, we are seeing these things playing out that we have to understand this season very well. So today, I just want to charge us the relation between eating and gaining strength. And the scripture I'm using today is in John chapter 4, from verse 34. And it says, Then Jesus explained, my nourishment come from doing the will of God who sent me and from finishing his work. Jesus said, my nourishment comes from doing the will of God. What is nourishment? In simple science, nourishment involved eating food, allowing that food to digest, and now the digestion of that food in the system, the system assimilates it to produce energy, to produce strength for varying activities that man is called to do on earth. So when, in other translation we say, my meat is to do the will of God. But this translation is very interesting. It's capturing everything. Say, my nourishment comes from doing the will of God. When you eat, the food you eat has to be digested if it's going to produce any energy. In the realm of this week, it's the same thing. We are to eat in God's presence because it was clearly stated in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3 that man should not depend only on eating food, uh, physical food. He said, he said, the will of God is that we should feed, not to live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from God's mouth. How can we live by every word that proceeds from God's mouth? Except we stay in His presence. So when we dwell in God's presence, that is where we feed our soul. And it is in that place that we are able to think, to meditate, to reflect, which looks, which looks like digestion of food we have eaten. And by the time you digest food, automatically that food becomes assimilated, absorbed into the body's system to produce strength. So by the time we feed on the Word of God in His presence and we meditate, we break it down, it enters into our bloodstreams, it becomes part of us, it becomes our own, it becomes part of our flesh. Then we go out and we begin to do exactly what God wants us to do. In John 5, 19, Jesus said, I, I cannot do anything of myself. I do only that which I see my father doing. It is in the place of doing with God, you see how God does things. And when you go before men, you do exactly what you see God doing in closet. And that's why Jesus will always go to the mountain in the night. And the best time indeed from the life of Jesus to feed in God's presence is in the night time. In those quiet times, when you are not thinking of 
what I will do tomorrow in the in the office or this when everywhere is quiet that you have that time stay in his presence and he said those that seek me early shall find me so many times it's good for us to learn how to eat in God's presence in those quiet time and that's why night time is the best time to feed I'm not saying we can't eat during the day whatsoever you take there are times in the place of work you have some quiet time to meditate all these things matter meditation is so important when it comes to nourishment of spiritual things and by the time we become so nourishing things of god we have the energy to do things and uh, matthew chapter 5 verses is not telling us that blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled now by the time you begin to expand what you are eating from god to the people around you dissipate energy before men you eat in god's presence you dissipate energy before men you eat in god's presence the more you dissipate energy before men the the hungrier you become when you go back to god and that's the pattern that god wants us to establish in our life this time that we learn to stay in his presence to receive strength to receive instruction to receive wisdom that we will dissipate among men to let men know that god loves him and these are the things we want to prepare ourselves for this year because of what is coming upon the nations terrible things and the place of gaining strength is in the presence of god and when we stay in his presence he feeds us he wants us to go and dissipate the energy to the sons of men and as we are doing it we get hungrier the more when we go back to his presence then we begin to grow more and more the more we dissipate the love of god to people the power of god to people out there that are in need of them the hungrier we become and when we come to his presence he gives us more we know more we learn more we draw more strength from him and this is what god wants us to want us to do in this time so god's people i want to admonish us this is the best time to learn to stay in God's presence and to learn from him the expertise of how to reach unto men. Herein lies the secret of our gaining strength. God bless you as you prepare today to meditate and to pray on these wonderful things. You are blessed indeed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining in on today's episode of this podcast. Join us again, same time, same place tomorrow for another insightful episode. God bless you.